so we're here at Fab Tech 2022 in the Lincoln, or actually we're in the Lindy booth, and my homie Nate Bowman, uh, better known as the Weld Scientist, because he is a geek and I love him for it, is going to show us the Lincoln Hyperfill. It's something new, it's something different, and this dude knows a ton about it, so he's going to give us the down low. So here it is, this is the uh, Hyperfill setup. This is the, like, kind of like comes as a package. Base power supply is a S500 power wave. You have a power feed 84 uh, wire feeder. You can get them in a, a dual sided feeder as well. That's how my, mine is set up. This is called the gateway pendant. This is gonna allow you to basically access the uh, hyperfill mode. So as you can see, you got two full spools of wire on this. This is basically just a modified version of the feeder. You have this little platform and then you have dual 035 solid wire. Uh, so L56 or L59 or uh, dual 045 metal core, dual 045 solid wire, or dual 045 flux core. The dual flux core has got it like, the how it burns, like that has to, there had to be some witchcraft going on to get that to uh, melt and right. Or... It's actually pretty cool. So the contact tip, we could talk about that here in a second when we get to the uh, end of the gun here, okay. but the contact tip, they actually had to change the hole spacing. Gotcha. To get it to kind of fuse better. Um, and we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll catch up with that one. Remember that, because I'll okay, forget. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, for sure. Two wires come into the uh, drive system. Probably like pull this thing out. There we go. Two wires come into the drive system. You have hyperfill drive rolls, four wheel drive drive system, water cooled 500 amp gun. Nice. And uh, this is the uh, this is the gun. Feels pretty similar to just a normal regular MIG gun, but you got two wires coming out of the end of it. I'm gonna slide this guy off the end. Thank you, assistant. Absolutely. I'm here for you. Just call me Dan White. So as you can see, there's two holes in the contact tip. Okay. They're both coming through the same liner. They get, you know, basically they come out of the, yeah, come out of the liner. They hit the top of the of the arc plume and then they fuse together at the top of the arc plume. So Interesting. this is a pulse pulse program. So there's no issues feeding them together? Like they don't slip much or? No. They, and they've, They've actually, this uh, inlet, the inlet guide, they have a, a newer, better upgraded version of the inlet guide that they actually found that the one that works on their drum setup actually makes it a lot easier. Right on. You know, it's like any new technology. It's There's a learning curve. Yeah, and I mean, if you imagine, I think about this kind of like the race car with no power steering, no ABS, no nothing. Yes. Like it's it's fast, It it's, you know, you can screw it up real quick. Gotcha. But in, in, in a, like a, in a good way, if you're, you know, if you're a skilled, if you're a skilled driver, you can get the most potential out of it. Yeah. But, but it, without that, otherwise you're just driving around in a Corolla. Yeah. I've been really trying to figure out how to explain, like better explain a lot of this technology and stuff. And, and you have to kind of treat it that like, it's a nice car. You wouldn't, you know, if you bought, this is, this is about uh, 30 grand here. If you had a, if you had a $30,000 car, not a grocery getter. No, no. But if you, if you had a brand new, if you bought a brand new car, you wouldn't be setting up, you know, a, a plate on sawhorses in your driveway and running your grinder and just grinding sparks into your car. You right. just wouldn't do that. And this is no different. So, you know, people that are like, well, I'm going to break that. And it's like, well, don't be an idiot. You, just don't be an idiot. You can break it. You can. Be, absolutely. Whoa. Good. Yeah. Yeah. We're really proud of you. I'm sure you're strong and you could break this thing in like two seconds. Great. But don't break it. Congratulations. Don't break it. So yeah, that's really basically the system. I mean, the real the real benefit here is it's like a precision weapon. Like pretty much, yeah. It's dialed in to do what it does. Exactly. So the the real like where the rubber meets the road with this thing is is deposition rate. Yep. We've talked about this in the past. So a single wire at uh, 500 inches a minute, a single 035 wire is about nine pounds an hour ish. So if you were to weld nonstop for an hour, like literally under the hood for one hour, you deposit nine pounds of weld metal into whatever part that you're welding out. And I mean, obviously you're welding on tanks and stuff. There's a lot of weld metal that goes into that. Yep. So with hyperfill, you have 18 pounds an hour up to 24 pounds an hour, literally double, double your output, double your output. So that offers a lot of different things. So that's a, uh, that reduces your weld time by 50%. If you went from a single wire process to a dual wire process, and most people aren't welding at nine pounds an hour. Average right. deposition rate across the country that we're seeing is between four and six pounds an hour. So give you some like reference points, like uh, 
035 wire at 350 inches a minute, which a lot of people don't even run 035 that high, is about five pounds an hour, somewhere okay. around there. So four times that. So four times as fast as, as if you were welding a part out at traditional 350 inches a minute. 045 dual shield, like 71T1 flux core at uh, 300 inches a minute is, you know, right around the same, you know, five, six pounds an hour. Right on. So if you went from, hey, I'm using 045 flux core to weld out this whole entire part, and now I have a hyperfill system, you just cut your weld time down by 75%. Weld time reduction, that's also a reduction in heat input into the yes. part. Just because you're welding on it and you're putting heat into it, that's not necessarily a good thing. Heat right. into a part is not necessarily good. No, you don't good. want excess heat. You're going to warp it. You're going to cause, uh, you know, there's strength issues, you know, brittleness, things like that. Yeah. That's reason, you know, at General Dynamics, we don't we don't torch cut pieces or late we, we water jet everything because we don't want to put more heat into the edges of the armor. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, in, in uh, distortion control is a huge one yep. as well. I was at a company that does uh, mining equipment and they've, they've implemented this process. They went from a, a 7-0 T1, so flat horizontal flux core, um, and implemented the hyperfill process. And they used to have to weld all these like bucking bar, or, you know, the bars and supports and, you know, get this thing uh, all stiffened up while they welded it out. Now they just set it on the floor and weld it out and they don't have to do any of that That's stuff. incredible. That saves so much time and energy. Yes. I mean, it just... You see the cost of the machine, you're like, oh my God, this is so expensive. And it's like, well, will you pay for the machine or do you want to just pay your guys to wrestle with trying to straighten out a potato chip? Right, right. It's like, just pay, you know, pay for the machine and put it in. There is a little bit of a, a learning curve. I mean, it, it doesn't, to me, like it doesn't feel like you're welding any different because there's still one puddle. It's still one arc. Right. Um, it's just the two wires come out, and as soon as they hit the top of the arc, they join. I think most of us have done that with the TIG machine at one point or another. Yeah. Taking multiple TIG, TIG sticks and put them together. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 the same thing. And it, once it hits the side of that puddle, it's now one thing. Yep. What's the pendant for? Okay, so the pendant is, this is kind of a controversial thing, and, and I'm, like, I'm okay with that, but I think it makes a lot of sense. So when, when Lincoln engineered this process, they actually used Lincoln wire, which they make, and they have an extremely high quality standard for what, what the, uh, the what chemical the, composition, yeah, the composition of, the of the wire, exactly. So Lincoln's wire is extremely consistent. And obviously this thing burns up a lot of wire. I mean, yep. it's not burning it up into thin air. It's putting it in your parts very quickly, but people, you know, they're like, well, why don't we just get cheaper wire and try and run a cheaper wire? Well, it's cheaper for a reason, it's cheaper for a reason. They don't have the same inspection process. They don't have the same quality standards that yep. they work to. And then you have a high performance machine. It'd be like having a race car and you're like, man, I don't want to buy these really expensive tires or spend $14,000 on carbon ceramics. Right. But 87 octane on an engine that's supposed to have, you know, 94, 100 plus. Yeah, exactly. And they're like, this thing runs like shit. And yep. it's like, yeah, it does. You know, so it, it, and that's, and that's really what this is for. You, gotcha. can, you can use other wire if you want, but you have to essentially pay to access the uh, to the technology. So does this come with the setup and then? Yeah, there's just an RFID. You get like a, uh, it's called a hyperfill credit, gotcha. which is like a little card with an RFID. You just scan it and then you get a weight credit. So right now we're at 199 pounds. You get that for the rolls that you buy? Or... Correct. Okay. Yep, rolls that you buy or um, if you buy a drum or, or something like that. So you just scan the scan the card, it loads your weight credit, gotcha. and you just keep on welding. Right I on. mean, a lot of people, like I said, they're like, whoa, I want to run this. And it's just like, it really doesn't cost you that much more money to have the Lincoln Wire versus another brand. Like, I mean, you're it's an interesting way to uh, entrap customers into buying your, your product. Like, yeah. That, and that's how a lot. And that's how a lot of people feel about it. I mean, imagine if like somebody like Porsche, you know, they came out with a car. Oh, I get it. They work with Michelin. They yep. develop a, a tire that's going to specifically for that, that car. Yeah, that's going to performed because it was engineered yeah. specifically for that thing. Yeah. Totally. So that's kind of where where I'm like, yeah, I fully support this because I want to get the most performance out of it. Gotcha. Right on. So um, that is an interesting. I, I'm. I'll, it'll be. I keep saying interesting, but it's it interesting because it's like very conscious, kind of controversial. It is. And it's different and it's new to the industry. Really. I, people are always trying to get you to buy their consumables and things yeah. like that. But when it comes to wire, like this is, it's, it's interesting. That's should I say it one more time? It's interesting. It's very, very interesting. interesting. 
But I, like I said, I, I support it, not just because I'm drinking the Lincoln Kool-Aid, but I've run a lot of other wires. It's a pre, I mean, it's a premium product. Yeah. Like I put Michelin's on my car. They're more expensive, but that's what I want on right. the car to get the most performance out of it. It's very interesting. For, for me, it's very interesting. <laughs> I'm interested. <laughs> we, uh, we might be able to run it. Right on. Yeah. That'd be cool. Want to do that? Yeah, let's try that. Sweet. We're going to run Hyperfill and they are going to take you to the next dimension. Oh my God, it's a Lincoln guy. I know. I know. I was what like, oh my right gosh. Up. I'm actually sponsored by Miller. But <laughs> <laughs> like, I, love, like, I really want to try to Miller it out. It's super cool. It's definitely different. Uh, getting used to like th like every processor's a feel. Yeah. And I think it would take me, you know, it'd take another five ten minutes to try to get the feel down for it and really get it so it lays in nice. But another thing is, I think I was going too slow because I'm so used to a single feed. Yeah. So um, once I started getting used to it going a little bit faster, it really made a difference. And this plate's got a ton of scale on it. That's that's also part of it. Yeah, yeah. In a nice clean well joint, it's just like happy, right. wow, super fun. happy. Thank you for your time and explanation. Absolutely, it's very interesting. It is sweet. Thanks, Thanks for asking. asking.